This is a special presentation of America at a Crossroads. Pre-9-11, honestly, I was just a white guy living a white guy life. All my friends had names like Monica and Chandler and Joey and Ross. <laughs> then 9-11 happened, and I, for the first time in my life, became an Arab. And I'm happy about it. I mean, I've gotten to travel and perform in the Middle East. I've done shows in, in Beirut, in Haifa, Ramallah, in Dubai. It was fun. I was a hostage, but it was a fun t It was an amazing tour, you know. When the terror alert gets raised, we think about how they're going to affect us that night on stage. Could I tell this joke tonight? You know, should I mention I'm Arab? Maybe tonight. You know, I can be a tourist in it. I'm different. Ahmed Ahmed can't be a tourist, you know. Some of those guys cannot be tourists. I can choose to introduce myself into the conflict or not. Hello, it's about time you got here. My father was a Muslim, and my mom is Catholic. And I was raised primarily Christian, but I was raised exposed to both Islam and Christianity. And my father would, would talk to me at night about Islam. He gave me a dollar for learning the whole prayers. But my dad, he, we, he would come to church on Christmas and Easter to be part of the family. It was very nice. And this is a completely true story. He took communion one time. Comes back, I go, what do you think of communion? He goes, it needs more salt. <laughs> he passed away about a year before 9-11, and I always wonder in a way how upset he would have been by these terrorist attacks of 9-11 and in the name of Islam. Like he would have been outraged by this.